definitely is a challenging thing. Um, being that young and being in the media and not knowing how to navigate it and, uh, probably growing up from a very young age, having, well, having a well-known father and the family being known and you sort of spend a lot of your, I spend a lot of my adolescence being known as the son of this person. And, and it, it, it does this weird thing to your psychology and you start thinking you're, you've almost got two identities and you're, and you, and it, there's this fuel, this sort of fire, sorry, inside me that I need to prove myself and I need to become Nick Brax, not the son of this person. How yeah. can I do that? I need to do something extreme, which probably for how I am, like I, you know, as I'm wired in a way that I've got that mind, you know, I think that is a biological thing. Cause I remember being a very young kid and thinking differently and being, yeah. you know, taking everything to the extreme. And I've got so many early examples of that, but I think the com- for me, the combination of having that sort of mentality where I probably would have had issues with it and gone, you know, that way anyway, combined with the well-known father being in the media, all that stuff of, okay, now I've like got, you know, twice or probably not twice, like five, 10 times of the motivation to yeah. prove myself because I have to. Um, and so to, sort of, it became unhealthy. Uh, so it really drove a lot. Of, and it's just, it's a complicated thing. And you see it not, not, a, not only just in people in the public eye, but it's just, it's a very common thing with anyone that's got successful parents. Mm. Uh, it, for the kids, it, it's often this very tricky thing to navigate and find, okay, how do I find my own identity? How do I find my own field to go into? How do I feel secure and comfortable and, you know, confident and, you know, proud of myself in what I'm doing? Because the, the fallback thing can be no matter what I do is not good enough because it doesn't match up to what my parents did on, yeah. on, on that public level. Um, so then you've got to start really. So I think it had all those negatives, but then the thing I've become, you know, more and more aware about is I think if I didn't have all that stuff happen, I wouldn't have uh, gone on the path I've gone on. I wouldn't have had to question things. I wouldn't have had to, you know, think deeply about things. I wouldn't have had to really look at what are my values? What do I stand for? Who do I want to be? What do I really care about? Where are all of these other holes in, you know, society? Um, so it sort of made all of that stuff happen, which I think that's a gift in itself. So it's sort of, mm-hmm. and, and this is what I believe in life. There's no, again, no perfect um, something, no matter what we do is going to come at a cost either of, you know, time of sacrifice of pain of whatever it is. So that, that was a big cost for me, but then it gave me all these other really rich sort of things that I've, you know, experienced, which I always try and remind myself that with whatever I'm doing. <laughs>